Welcome to the Breas Vivo 45 LS tutorial series. In this video, we will be going through the alarm menu. To open the alarm menu, press the alarm function key. This will open the first tab or page of this menu. Standard ventilation alarms are located on the first page. Among those are the high and low pressure, volume, rate and minute volume alarm settings. The next alarm is the apnea alarm. When the Vivo 45 LS does not recognise spontaneous effort from the patient for a set period of time, the apnea alarm will be triggered. The apnea time settings are from 5 to 60 seconds. For example, if the apnea alarm is set for 5 seconds and there is no recognised spontaneous breathing effort from the patient for 5 seconds, the apnea alarm will be activated. An activated alarm will be indicated by an alarm message in the monitoring screen, alarm warning LEDs as well as an audible signal. An audible signal can be silenced using the alarm silence button. When pressed, the audible signal from the activated alarm only will be silenced for 60 seconds. An additional LED will illuminate to show the alarm is currently silenced. When the Vivo 45 LS is displaying an active alarm condition, the user can gain additional information of the activated alarm by simply pressing the information button. When the Vivo 45 LS is not in an active alarm condition, the user can use the up and down navigation buttons to highlight an alarm and then press the information button. The displayed information includes a definition of the alarm, possible causes of the alarm, and the minimum and maximum trigger settings for the alarm. If the patient returns spontaneous effort, the alarm will automatically reset. The alarm will re-trigger should the Vivo 45 LS again not recognise spontaneous breathing effort from the set time by the alarm setting. Once the alarm has been triggered the first time, a message will appear to notify the user. This message will persist even if the alarm resets itself. The disconnection alarm will be activated if there is an excessive leak. For example, if the circuit is disconnected from the patient, the alarm will activate shortly after disconnection. The user may also note low pressure and other alarms trigger at the same time. The rebreathing alarm will be activated to alert the operator that the patient is at risk of rebreathing exhaled air. For example, when the exhalation valve on an active circuit isn't functioning correctly or a leak port on a passive circuit becomes blocked. The obstruction alarm will be activated when there is an obstruction of the patient's circuit for two consecutive breaths. The sensitivity of the alarm can be selected by the prescriber. The user can move to the second tab of the alarm settings by pressing the alarm menu key. These alarms are related to the advanced diagnostic measurements that the Vivo 45 LS offers. High and low values can be set for FiO2, SpO2, pulse rate and ETCO2. By pressing the alarm menu button again, the user will move to the third tab to view an alarm and event history. The most recent activated alarms or logged events are listed at the top. As you can see, each alarm and event that occurs on a Vivo 45 LS is recorded with a date and time stamp. In addition, each alarm and event are colour coded to assist the user in viewing the logged occurrences. Events illustrated in white indicate changes to the ventilator modes and settings, changes in the power source and results of pre-use testing. Events illustrated in red or yellow indicate an activated alarm. The type of alarm date and time of activation and reset is logged. The event history stores the last 200 logged events and can be viewed individually by using the up and down navigation keys or page by page by using the right and left navigation keys. By pressing the alarm menu button again, the user will be moved back to the first page. This concludes the alarm settings tutorial for the Breas Vivo 45 LS for more information, please visit the Education by Breas website. Thank you for watching.